Hello everyone. This video is about the new method of fire making which just came out today. It's bonfires and it's actually a pretty cool update in my opinion. Um, it's in short, I'm just going to go through it pretty quickly, uh, just get the information out there. Um, so pretty much it's just an AFK fire making method. You use logs on a fire and it gives you experience. It's also, it uses all the logs in your inventory so it's just AFKable. It doesn't use them all at once of course, it goes through them one by one. And the logs give more experience than normal. I've got a link to the RS wiki page in the description so you can see the experience there. When I was doing it with maple logs, I was getting about 190 experience apiece. I believe they give about 130 normally, so that's quite good. That means less logs needed for 99, so it costs less money. You burn about a thousand logs per hour, and the logs give also, uh, it helps to do it in a group of people because you get an extra 4% bonus experience as long as five or more people are adding logs to the same fire. So yeah, it's a really nice AF cable method of training fire making. Although looking at it compared to the previous sort of best method, the uh, curly root burning in Jadinko Lair, that's still probably better to do because it doesn't cost any money and you get wood cutting experience out of it and it's only slightly slower, but that's up to you. It's still a really nice AF cable method to train. I'm also going to see if there are any friends chats that are around for the uh, fire making because I'm sure that some will be set up if they haven't been already and that'll be helpful for getting the full extra 4% experience boost off of it. So that should be good. Uh, and then there are also special effects from fire making. So first off you can get fire spirits that appear randomly while fire making and you can just click on them and they give smaller rewards. Um, just in general it's like around 1k in loot, uh, things like four ashes noted, uh, some runes, some random stuff. Uh, but they can also give summoning charms, which is pretty nice. It was roughly estimated that you'll get about 400k summoning experience worth of charms off of 99 fire making if you do use in magic logs. The, the spirits are based off of how many logs you burn rather than off of the experience that they give. So if you do lower logs, you'll get more experience. And also that amount of experience is based on 99 summoning. So if you're not 99, it'll be a bit less, but still it's a nice little bonus for doing fire making. You also have 10% uh, more cooking experience for cooking on bonfire, even if it isn't one that you made. So that's really nice if you're just cooking at the G, it's just convenient, nice little bonus. And then finally, the main great little bonus for fire making is that you get a life point boost for fire making five logs in a row on a bonfire. So if you light a fire and then add five logs to it, or you just add five logs to a fire that's already existing, you'll get a life point bonus. bonus. And for me, at 99 fire making with um, magic logs, it gives a 60 minute boost and it's 99 life points that are boosted. Um, so that's quite good. With next armors, I believe you can get 1,732 life points if you, uh, yeah, if you brew up well with using all the life point bonuses and things, wearing full next gear. So that's pretty amazing. And I'm not exactly sure what the life point boost is for lower levels. I know that the time that the boost goes for is based on what type of log you use and the amount that your life points are boosted by is based on your fire making level. So I know that uh, maple logs are 36 minutes, so that's just a nice cheap thing that you could do like between Cast Wars games or something, uh, or like between Dungeoneering floors, just burn five maple logs for a life point boost. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure about how many life points are boosted based on your fire making level. I feel like it's probably one life point boost per fire making level since at 99 you get 99 life point boosts, but that's not confirmed. When I find the correct information, I'll put it in the description, or you can just check the RS wiki page in the description. I'm sure they'll figure it out on there pretty quick. So yep, that's everything. Overall, pretty great update. I think fire making was rather useless for a very long time, and now it's going to have quite a good use for the life point boost. Um, so yeah. That's pretty cool. Good update. Uh, thanks for watching.